Hi everyone, we're group three. As you can see, we only have three people, uh, four people in our group. Uh, from left to right, we have Abdul, Smita, and Natalie. And today we're gonna talk to you about our product, a 100% orange juice fortified with calcium and vitamin D. So for our presentation, I'll first give you a brief introduction about the disease osteoporosis, its prevalence, and some nutrients related to this disease. After that, Natalie will talk about the disease risk reduction claim of a product regarding the calcium, vitamin D, and osteoporosis. Followed by Natalie, we have Smita explaining the nutrient content claim of our product, as our product is basically sugar-free, but more on that later. Last but not least, we have Abdul talking about the label, as well as the packaging of our product. Abdul is also going to make the conclusion for our presentation. So let's get started. As some of you might already know, osteoporosis is a disease caused by low bone mass and the structural degradation of bone tissues, which leads to bone fragility and increased risk of fracture, especially in the regions of wrist, hip, and spine. Hip fracture is of most detrimental, with up to 20% increased rate of mortality in the first year following fracture. And chronic inflammation is actually one of the many mechanisms contributing to the onset of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a worldwide health problem. It affects more than 75 million people in the US, EU, and Japan alone. As for Canada, the number is around 2 million. Nutritional regimens may be beneficial to prevent the onset of osteoporosis, and many studies have focused on the dietary intake of calcium and vitamin D. Let's look at so just the fun facts here. Our bones are made up of 30% organic compounds, like living cells and tissues, and 70% of inorganic compounds. 95% of the inorganic compounds are calcium. So in other words, calcium in total made up of 90, roughly 65% of our bones. So how important is calcium? There you have it. As for vitamin D though, you often see vitamin D goes along with calcium. There's a reason behind that. That's because vitamin D can also promote bone health. To be specific, vitamin D can regulate bone demineralization via the parathyroid hormone. Vitamin D can also stimulate the calcium absorption in our small intestine and increase calcium reabsorption in our kidneys. So you might be wondering, why do we come up with this orange juice product? Now here's our reasoning. When people think about a nutrient-dense product, what do we have here? Snack bars, right? But let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen old people chewing snack bars? Not likely, right? For obvious reasons, of course. And also, speaking of calcium and vitamin D, most people right off the bat start to think about milk and dairy products. But we quickly rule that out as well, because as people age, they are prone to lactose intolerance, and not to mention that their gastrointestinal function also starts to decline. Therefore, we want to make our product easy for our consumers to consume and easy for them to digest and absorb. Next, we'll have Natalie talking about the DDR claim of our product. Okay, so now onto the health claim portion of our product. Just a little bit of background info. In 2005, it became mandatory for um, nutritional labeling on all prepackaged foods, and this can be considered a good thing if a company has a product with a nutritional composition that promotes a good health effect because they can make a claim that their product is good for a consumer's health. So a health claim describes a link between a specific food or ingredient and its role in a certain disease or condition. And there are four different types of claims, but the one that I will be focusing on is a disease risk reduction claim. So this type of claim promotes the reduced risk of a chronic disease by consuming a certain food product or ingredient. But once again, um, the food products alone cannot help reduce the risk of this disease. It has to be part of an overall active and healthy lifestyle. And all of these claims have to be substantiated by scientific evidence. So for our product, we have a calcium and osteoporosis disease risk reduction claim. This was first published in 1993 by the USDA and later by Health Canada in 2000. It, was, um, it underwent extensive scientific research to show that calcium does play a role in um, reducing the effects of osteoporosis, but once again, it's only an element of the overall reduction. Um, there has to be a healthy lifestyle, regular physical activity, and proper nutrients to promote bone formation. There's also an important point regarding vitamin D. Vitamin D is deficiency is prevalent among elderly consumers, so an adequate amount of vitamin D is necessary in order to benefit from all the additional effects of calcium added. So our claim, our product bears this claim, and we can confidently say that Easy Life 100% Orange Juice is an excellent source of calcium and vitamin D. 
because it satisfies these requirements laid out by the FDR. It contains more than 275 milligrams of calcium and more than 1.25 micrograms of vitamin D per reference amount and per Servena stated size. So our second claim is the nutrient content claim. What is nutrient content claim? It is a statement or an expression which describes directly or indirectly the nutrient content of a food. So it is not a mandatory claim, it's an optional claim which you can find in some of the store products. This claim is described in Health Canada's Food and Drug Regulation FDR Part B Section 1. When a manufacturer makes a product, he has to limit type of claims that can be used on his product as well as FDR prescribes the conditions that a foot must meet in order to make any particular claim. So why we need these regulations? What's the need for all these regulations on claims? It's for the customers, for the easy going of the customer. When a customer enters into a market, he has many choices so that he get, doesn't get confused. There are certain claims on looking on those claims so he can choose whether to purchase a product or not. And then on uh, looking at the product, he can either make choice in relation to prevent his uh, disease or can have uh, can manage his disease by taking those products. Now, if you see the trend, it's a, a sugar consumption trend in Canada. And we see that from 1966, we see there's more consumption of sugar. As we go to 2010 and further, there is a less consumption of sugar amongst the Canadian population. That means Canadians are very much informed about the sugar intake. Now, so that that benefit we took and we claim our product as sugar free. Why? Because our product, it uh, complies completely to FDR reference B01513. That means any food product which contains less than 0.5 grams of sugar per reference amount and servings of stated size could be said as sugar free or sugar, no sugar, this uh, free of sugar. Now, for who this uh, whose uh, our product can be sell, sold to whom? All the group of people who like, age group of people who like to drink orange juice can consume our product, especially people after 50 onwards who have the mastication problem and um, following dysfunctioning problem can take our juice because they get all the nutrients as well as um, patients who are diabetic. Since we have a stevia, we are using stevia in, uh, for uh, sweetener and we know that stevia is a natural sweetener and it is non-caloric uh, sweetener. Now I'm going to talk about the, the uh, jelly bean rolls. So there are, there are certain ingredients that are required to be in the food product. Uh, the following table illustrates these ingredients and the minimum daily value requir requirement. In fact, food product must be contain 10 per intrinsically 10% of the daily value, at least one of these ingredients that list in this table. So since our product is in orange juice that is rich in vitamin C, so we are not worried about that. So we have in one, one specific size, 66, 66, 66 milligram, that means we have 110 daily value. So now we, I'm gonna talk about the, the packaging label. I'm, while I'm talking, just I wanna pass it around. So I'm gonna break down uh, the label two parts. One is mandatory information and additional information. So per, first, the label should be easy to understand and bilingual, English and French. This is our proposed label, so we didn't have French language in the front. So, and as Canadian ask for, and customers will understand the purpose of like, the function of our products when they look at it. Hopefully, they're gonna buy it. Now, they'll understand it. Uh, second, 
the net quantity. So this is very important to be point, to be indicating our label. So as you see in the bottom of the page, 1.75 liter. This is our quantity. So as our product meet the requirement for risk, risk reduction claim, so we can see in the label, as you see in the front, and we as we added like calcium and vitamin D. So third, so yeah, third. So in the instruction formation should be indicated in our label. As you see on the on the right and the left hand of the initial fact, keep refrigerated between mi minus one and four deg uh, degrees Celsius, and customer she like have, have to shake it well before serving, before they drink it. And uh, you know, according to Canadian Food Inspection Agency, we have to ins like ins indicate our business place. In our label, as you see here, no, oh, sorry. yeah, just under the ingredients, our business is, and if there are any comments, they can contact us there. So now I'm going to explain the nutrition fact. So in one serving size, we have 2050 milliliter, uh, and as you see, like our product has zero. Zero fat, zero saturated fat, and trans fat. Zero cholesterol, one one sodium, one and zero fiber. But the most uh, the most noticeable characteristics here, we have uh, our uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, and calcium. Vitamin C is naturally in the orange juice. We didn't add in that. We only added vitamin vitamin D and calcium. So and uh, the ingredient list is hundred percent. Uh, orange juice and calcium saturated mallet. That is, we added that because it's easy to uh, to dissolve in, in liquid, to dissolve in liquid, and stevia. And as we said before, we add calcium and vitamin D. Yeah, and as I mentioned before, there is additional information. 100 orange juice, so our product made of 100 oranges, orange juice that we can't claim it in our label, in front label. If it's less than 100% juice, we can't claim it as a juice, as a drink. So, and as you see, we have a, a organic logo. In order to meet, to meet the requirement for the, for the, for uh, the organic product regulation, so we have, we, we, we need to meet some requirements. Our, our product is organically grown, organically raised, organically produced. So we can have that in our label. And the free sugar, as we mentioned before, is less than 0.5. We can claim that uh, in our label. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. In the conclusion, we, we give you a brief background about the osteoporosis, and we talked about the risk reduction claim and nutrition claim as well. And we talked about the label. I just want to point something very important. We, our product, is, our product is, is not treating people. We are not trying to treat people. We just try to prevent people from disease. And thank you for listening to us, and we welcome for any question.